Okay, so this is uh, my garden as of, what date is it? 16th of July, 2016. So we're gonna have a little tour around. Oh. <laughs> Rubbish picture straight away, a brolly. The essential beer, of course. We've had the first bit of sun for, literally not joking, six weeks. It's been absolutely ridiculous, so through the end of May and June been absolutely rubbish but things have still grown so this is your first year we got stuck into it after this shed was built the shed was an absolute it wrecked the garden so we put a lot of money into it this is what we come up with so we ended up with loads of pots some flowers are doing okay so it's 15th of july i say that about four foot something like that this is my new raised bed that i built yesterday so it's already got my pepper in that's been growing for a while. None of these have been grown from seed. I had to buy them all this year, but next year they'll all be grown from seed. This is off my dad. I think it was. I think these are off my dad, not sure what they are. Um, it's cake daisy, cut it back and it's come back again. So that's quite a little success story. So that's how my dailies as well, they're all bought. But next year, hopefully, we'll get the bulbs. I want to sow some peas and things like that in here today. It's a bit late, but I'm just doing it as a little exercise to get used to it. It didn't cost much. Other lemon dahlias, some succulents as well. This lantern is a bit of a success. Got one with my dad and repotted it, and it's come up really nice. This is my decking. This is actually only about a month old already. We've got a habit in here. When we build something, it gets embedded dead quick, like these stones. I want to just put these in today. So I built these yesterday, these frames as well. They had a good deal on decking at Wix's, can you tell? <laughs> so we've got a few little success stories. Got some potting bunch there. Got this white jello which has started to bud now, which is the same as the one over there, from the shed. Got this japonica, which needs a bit of TLC. It's been potted and repotted. Got in the grass, the A so I've just repotted it in this pot me don't give me. That's really come on. This lavender's not doing very well, could do moving it to the sun actually. Perhaps I'm gonna do that now as I'm talking. <coughs> Bloody hell, that's a better idea. Uh, really smashed it. <laughs> uh, these are a big success, sorry, our baskets have come up fantastic. This betula, I think it is, was good, that was only a tenner, that's flowered all the way through. This is struggling, this evergreen clematis. Moved it from over there in the corner, the sort of dead corner over there. We've got a honeysuckle there at the moment behind those chairs. Uh, this is Solanum, I think. I've got a couple of climbers here. This passiflora, this passion flower, has just decided to put two, inch, two inches on in two days just because it's heated up last night and today. So it's been literally dormant doing nothing. So I've got more sunflowers, they're coming on well. These are nice, these are fuchsia. And we've got some strawberries again, they're just begging for the sun. The azaleas struggled this year because of all the work we've had done. Like these ones roots were covered and things like this but, but they're getting there hydrangeas starting to bud so there's no other flowers on it which is a bit weird what well, that's about there's only one on it to look that one up this is a bit of a quiet corner we need a bit of work on this um but there you go there's the garden oh and the greenhouse as well not bad for about 700 quid <laughs> okay see you later